for the first track on the album is called The Teeth of the Hydra. And this is something that's really interesting to me. So this was something that you had in the works for just about five years. Is that correct? Yeah. So how did that sort of come to life with with uh, the designer, the Hoshino designer? Well, I came up with a, a concept and uh, it was just kind of like an idea. And the idea was to create this radically odd looking guitar that had three necks and uh, harp strings. And I knew I wanted the, fir- the top neck to be 12 string and half of it fretless. And then the middle neck would be seven string and the, the bottom neck to be a bass neck with the E and the A strings fretless and then harp strings, right? And uh, at the time I was really into like steampunk fashion. So I, I scoured the internet for various examples of steampunk fashion, you know? That's a big and, rabbit uh, hole. Yeah, that is a rabbit hole. It's a beautiful rabbit hole, actually. Totally. I love yeah. it. I think I found Alice in there. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I uh, I took these I, I took the ideas and some of the materials and I sent them to Hoshino and these guys um, just freaked me out. I mean, they they kind of like uh, threw away all convention and decided to exercise the potential of their creativity. Because when I saw the first renderings, I'm like, "That's that's crazy, man!" <laughs> that, wow. Insane. And I'm like, "Are you going to build that? You can actually build that?" And they they took it beyond some of the things I was thinking, you know? So after about three and a half years of going back and forth, I got this instrument and I'm, I'm just looking at it and it, it was awesome and intimidating mm. because mm. I knew I had to create a piece of music on it. And I knew that I wanted to create a piece of music that only had the Hydra uh, on it. And I knew it needed to sound like a piece of music and not a, a novelty joke, you know, because okay. when you see a picture of this guitar, you know, I, you know, some people I know that they'll say in their mind, yeah, sure, it's Steve, it's Steve Vai. He can have anything he wants built. Right. You know, you know so, so, so big deal. <laughs> what, what are you going to do with that thing? You know, it's kind of like having mm. a 13 inch prick, you know, it's good to <laughs> it. It's, it's nice to impress your friends, but what are you really going to do with it? <laughs> exactly. With, with the sizzle, where's the steak? <laughs> yes. You know, so I know that I have to do something with it. So, and that was really the, the, uh, the exciting idea for me to create a piece of music that uses everything on the Hydra, but sounds like a piece of music, you know? It's, mm. it, it's kind of like juggling chainsaws, you know? Right. So when you listen to that song, all the bass, all the seven string, all the 12 string, and all the harp strings are performed on the Hydra in one Man. performance. Mm. Uh, and I did it in sections, you know? Um, because it was really hard, you know. I, I I don't have any special gift for coordination, or like I can't even sing and play the guitar very well. It's just is that true? Know. Yeah, absolutely true. If I could, I'd have a real career. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Frank Zappa quote, by the way. If your career isn't real. I want a fake career. I'm just putting know, it out right? there. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. That was, that was a Frank quote. He was. We were in rehearsals once and. He was showing somebody, showing the bass player or something, or maybe he was showing me something. He's saying, play this. No, no, it, it, it was the Ray White guitar player. Play this and sing this. <laughs> da, 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 da. And then he'd play it. And the bass player, Arthur, says, why don't, you, why don't you play it and sing it at the same time? And Frank Zappa says, if I could play the guitar and sing at the same time, I'd have a real career. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that sounds exactly like Frank from what I've read and seen. I mean, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I picked that joke up. So um, I don't really have any special gift for uh, that kind of uh, dexterity. So I had to start really slow and kind of imagine it. And, and you know, things that seem impossible uh, for you uh, don't seem so impossible once you start doing them. Mm-hmm. You know, so I started doing it and then I built the song. I just got to piece by piece, right? It's a little bit at a time and then you get acclimated to the instrument. Uh, well, 
Uh, that eliminated one of the questions I had here was, where do you see the evolution, the next evolution of guitar? Well, you just told us the next evolution of guitar is coming soon. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I, more, I wouldn't say that the Hydra is the next evolution of guitar. Well, it sounds pretty cool with like harp strings and... Uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. I've seen, yeah. I've seen people doing some interesting things online. You know, I get uh, uh, links all the time from people to check stuff out and... And there's some people doing extraordinary things. There's, there's one person I did see not too long ago who was doing something with a triple neck. It was like an acoustic thing. And and they, uh, you know, they were negotiating all of the necks in one performance. Mm. Wow. Um, and it's fascinating. It's amazing. But I never really, none of the music that I ever hear from, from these fascinating players uh, it moves me. It, mm. I, don't, mm. I don't i don't dislike it but it, it's it's i like stuff that um is a little more abstract mm -hmm. a little more obtuse a little more unexpected so uh it's amazing to see some of the technique that is being developed in the guitar community um but it's rare to hear any real melodic evolutions Right. Have you ever seen uh, Pat Metheny play his Picasso guitar? You're the second one that brought that up, and I, I have to go look. You, oh, you must. It's it's like 42 strings. It's got like, you know, a very high little register for where it sounds very like almost, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's, it's definitely something to see. And Pat, you know, being Pat, he's incredible in his, I'm in gonna his melodic have to check sense. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a must. Yeah.